Welcome back everybody. So I've got two things lined up today to do on the C4. My main goal was to put this in. This is an oil pressure sensor. This goes on the side of the engine, driver side, on the other side of the distributor. But in order to access this, you have to remove the wiper motor off of the cap. So we're gonna start by doing that. We're gonna unbolt the wiper motor, remove that, and that should give us enough room to sneak in and take the old one out and install this one. This week's video is brought to you by SeatShafts.com, manufacturer of solid stainless steel seat motor drive shafts. Save money on costly seat repairs by replacing the weaker factory shaft with an upgraded stronger one. Custom sizes available for all makes and models. BMW, Chevy, Dodge, GMC, Mazda, Mercedes, and many more. Visit the link in the description or go to SeatShafts.com. Okay, so under the hood, driver's side, that's the wiper motor, and then down in there, is the oil sensor. So this grill here on the wiper cow, it has one, two, three, four Torx 15 screws. So we're gonna take this off to access the nut holding the motor to the linkage. And then at that point, we'll be able to take the three 10 millimeter bolts off this motor. And there's two connectors, one here and one there. So the easiest way to pull out this grill here, there is the piece for the spray nozzle here, unhook that, and then we're gonna go ahead and pull this up here, like this, and kind of slide it out this way. Like that and then you can see down here right down there is the nut that we're gonna take off of the linkage here for some reason if your linkage this piece is turned around you may have to turn your wipers on just so you can access this nut here so this nut here is a 13 millimeter Once that's off, all you have to do is kind of wiggle this here and it'll fall right off. Just keep an eye on how this was on when you pulled it off and it'll go back the same way. All right, so I'm gonna remove these connectors by pushing in on the center tab here. Pull that out and the same thing up top here. There's a release tab, push on that. Quarter inch drive, 10 millimeter deep socket, extension, swivel, 10 millimeter small socket. All right, so I have the motor pulled out here. This is a really tight fit in here, and the main motor part of this assembly is kind of hanging down the bottom, which I'll show you once we pull it out. So I was able to get a pry bar behind here and just slowly rock this out to where it clears the shaft there because it's so tight in there, it's kind of rubbing against that. So I just slowly rocked it out there and now I'll pull it straight out. I also did unhook this hood release cable bracket here just to give me a little bit of room because the cable is kind of holding down on the top there. And there is one more connector at the bottom here. All right, and you can see how big that thing is. There's also this piece here, the caps over that. This I've removed from the inside of the wiper cow here, and we'll put that back the same way. 
All right, now with that removed, you can see right back in here, that's where the oil pressure sensor is. Okay, so now the sensor's down there. There's one connector on the back of it, which we're gonna remove, and it'll just pull straight back. Like that. So it essentially looks like this. So my plan, instead of using an open end wrench, which is three quarters or a 19 millimeter here, because it's so tight down there, there won't be any room to move the wrench like this. I'm going to sneak in like this, 19 millimeter deep socket, three eighths drive with a swivel and put it on the end here. And now I'll be able to undo it like that. And here's the old one. Okay, ready to go back with a new sensor. So either Teflon tape or thread sealant on there and then run it back in. So this sensor is responsible for sending a signal to the fuel pump relay if it sees oil pressure. If it doesn't see anything below four PSI, it won't send the signal. So besides these leaking, they can also give you a starting issue. You don't have to get crazy here, just snug it down tight. Okay, so before I put the wiper motor back in, you gotta just make sure you plug the oil sensor connector back in and also fish out this lower wiper motor connector here. Make sure you plug that in first because it's probably impossible to get to. You'd have to go from underneath the car or something. So that's in now, bottom connector, and now we're gonna just slide this back in here I use the pry bar just like this push back on the cow just a little bit like that and just slips it right in like that don't get crazy because that's fiberglass and that will crack but just a little bit of pressure like that and it'll slide right in there all right once the motor's in here we can go ahead and start running our bolts back in and with this screen off, you can actually see on the other side where the nut is, so you can align your bolts a little bit easier. Make sure you have all three of the bolts in here before you snug them down. Once you have your bolts all tightened down, you can go ahead and plug the last two connectors back in. All right, now I'm gonna put the linkage back on here. Just make sure you put your rubber seal back in here like that. There's actually a square head on that shaft which aligns right with the linkage. So just make sure it's at the same angle that it was when you took it off. And now we can put our nut back on. Open in. Now we'll slide this cow back in here, same way we took it out. It's all back together, relatively easy job to do. Most of the time is taking that wiper motor out. 
it would take no time at all to replace that sensor if that wiper motor wasn't in the way. But either way, wiper motor had to come out. Not that hard to do. That's pretty much the procedure to get that out of there. It is really tight in there too. So don't be afraid to, you know, kind of persuade that out a little bit just to get it, it clear. But just be gentle with that fiberglass there. It is a little touchy, especially how old it is now. So if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Thanks for watching.